What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Hertha Berlin Manager Career Mode here on FIFA 21. We start things off in the episode with a game in the Bundesliga coming off of that insane loss but win against Manchester United in the Champions League. Looking to get a win in the Bundesliga as the table is so tight at the top and Cordoba has a good chance that's just not like Cordoba to miss those one-on-one -on -one chances so close to goal and he puts it over the bar and then Leverkusen have a chance but Stark steals it. Look at that for a pass as Cordoba picks up the loose ball puts it up and over for Mateus Cunha 1-0 but denied by the Leverkusen goalkeeper. And then speaking of denied by goalkeepers, look at this save from Schwalo keeping us in the game right before halftime. Leverkusen had a chance to take the lead, but Schwalo denied him. And take a look at this. Schwalo with another save. This save is worthy of just handing this man the golden glove. Fingertips, fingernail save. I mean, look at that. Ripping his nail apart to save us and keep us in the match Swallow does phenomenal save and that sets Carrasco through here in the second half Carrasco drives he's gonna take a shot and Carrasco misses saved by the goalkeeper You expect Carrasco to score those ones as well Our two top players are missing the sitters that they would usually score and then Mateus Cunha I mean this was the easiest chance of the bunch so far surely and he puts it wide How many chances do we need until we score a goal and Saleta Sar plays court through surely now surely this is the goal but it goes off the crossbar and Leverkusen escape danger but one final chance and I tell you guys it ain't over till it's over in football it happens a lot Dennis man plays it here it comes to uh, Mateus Cunha I think it was but it was saved by the player on the line and Leverkusen escape we had about a dozen chances and then some and we didn't score a single goal it ends nil nil at the Olympia Stadion against Leverkusen and they got super lucky and we were so unfortunate to not get at least a point we deserved all three points and we are looking to get the three points here against a Wolfsburg side who is struggling this season so look to obviously get some goals after the poor performance last game really poor finishing from the lads here in Berlin and good save from Castiles the Belgian goalkeeper to keep Wolfsburg in it but take a look at this some good defensive work from Rangier I think sets Piatic through and surely now yes our Polish number nine slots it home tucks it in the bottom corner to give us the lead and we finally score thanks to our Polish beautiful number nine striker the greatest polish striker in the league right now and uh meyer sets luka Bakio through look at the players coming in the box we have piazzik who luka Bakio tries to pick so it comes to carrasco at the end instead and carrasco get at some ends up getting the goal for hertha berlin 2-0 and that's beautiful to see we are finally finding the back of the net after that disaster last game Carrasco gets his goal he deserves it he really should have scored last game but hey it's okay as long as we win it here we should be fine and Fosu Mensa sets Luka Bakio through it's a 2 on one situation 91 minutes in Dennis man is never gonna miss those ones scores the third of the night his first on the night uh, third goal for Hertha Berlin on the night is what I was trying to say and the game ends up 3-0 We take three points. We really did deserve that in the last game But we end up taking it in this game Which is okay against Wolfsburg who's struggling and take a look at this You saw it in the title already, but take a look at the other fixture some beautiful ones look Liverpool Barcelona again That should be interesting, but yes, we travel back to Manchester We should have just stayed there if we knew we were gonna play the blue side of Manchester going to the Etihad Stadium this time we we took care of business against United, looking to take care of business here against City. And boy, this is a huge game right here as Man City is surely favorites to win the competition. And we get off to a bad start as Nicholas Stark, our Iron Man at the back, takes down Sergio Aguero, the Argentinian striker. Man City's greatest ever striker in the box. Smart play from Aguero to turn his back here and force Stark to make a challenge and only takes him down. Had no doubts that that was a penalty, but now it's De Bruyne versus our number one Schwalo. Who is going to win this battle? Schwalo says, come at it De Bruyne, let's see what you got! And Kevin De Bruyne, the Belgium maestro, was never going to miss it. Slots it into the top right corner and gives Manchester City the lead here really early on and that's possibly the worst start 
to have in a quarterfinals against a great team in City and take a look at this as they're looking to add a second goal against us. They think we'll, we're vulnerable but Saleta saw a great tackle, world class tackle. The ball gets played here to Mateus Cunha on the counter attack. We gotta rely on that one especially against good teams like City. Plays Schneider through. He's got the legs, the pace. Does he have to finish? Unfortunately not because Ederson makes a good save to deny the German youngster and Kevin De Bruyne over the free kick here. 70 minutes in. What is gonna happen? Kevin De Bruyne with the free kick! And Kevin De Bruyne scores a beautiful goal to give Manchester City the 2-0 lead here at the Etihad in the first leg of the Champions League quarterfinals here. We have a Germ we sorry, we have a Belgium star in Yana Carrasco. They have a Belgium star in Kevin De Bruyne, and that is just a world-class free kick top bins they say here in England and that's certainly what it was and we are desperately trying to look for an away goal to give us a chance good passing good play and good chance for Mateus Cunha but his shot was dragged wide and City have a chance to kill it off De Bruyne does he have the energy to get the hat trick no says Nicholas Stark Salada Sar passes it to Schneider we're on the counter attack looking for the away goal plays it to Mateus Cunha over the top to Cordoba who is in indeed on side the Colombian striker goes ahead and gets us the crucial away goal goes to the away fans to celebrate jumps into the crowd they hug him we're all over the fans they're all over us thanking the fans who made the journey back to England to see us face one of the top teams in the world and uh, John Cordoba slots it home and gives us a glimpse of hope against the English Giants here and City have another chance to kill off the game De Bruyne to Sterling where's our defense what is happening but Schwallow there to the rescue saving the it wasn't even a shot but saving a possible third goal from Sterling and that's how the game ends here in the first leg of the quarterfinals. We end up losing 2-1 to Manchester City courtesy of a Kevin De Bruyne masterclass but Cordoba helps us salvage the crucial away goal to take back home to Berlin in the Olympia Stadion and that's going to be in the first game of next episode so I mean god it's just it's just episode after episode with drama after drama and important games after important games and it's just Wow, can we handle all this pressure? Can the Hertha Berlin side, this side that we have built, handle the pressure? Well, we're just gonna have to wait and find out as we take on Schalke here for the last game of today's episode. A couple of chances and a couple of missed opportunities from both sides and it ends up staying nil nil. Neuhaus with a chance here and the Schalke goalkeeper makes a good save to deny Neuhaus his second opportunity in the match. And then good pass and good play. Look at this, Batshuayi, good skill, great footing. And Batshuayi gets the goal for Schalke and this is really annoying. We can't be losing in the Bundesliga because the top of the table is so close from second and fifth so with this goal we drop down to the Europa League spot believe it or not so we're desperately looking for the goal to at least equalize it and from the throw-in it comes here to Piatic Dennis Mann plays it to Lowen Lowen back to Piatic who plays a 1-2 with Dennis Mann what a play can this be a goal yes it is what a goal from the boys from Berlin that passing was immaculate and Piatic will hopefully salvage a point for us but we're not looking for a point we're looking for a win all the three points here ask a seaboard uh, back to Piatic. what a save man from the Schalke goalkeeper keeping the side in it and then the very last chance came to us where we get a late winner here unfortunately not Dennis man pulls his shot wide and unfortunately that is how the game ends a 1-1 uh, final result here a draw we can only take one point here at the Veltins arena I think it's called and that's so unfortunate because we really need to be pushing on in the Bundesliga but we also have Champions League business to take care of as well so I mean god the next couple of the next two episodes I believe are gonna be really really crucial which should we focus on more the Champions League or the Bundesliga let me know down, down below also do you think we have a chance to make the semi-finals the way goal surely helped. But anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy it, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you in another episode of the Hertha Berlin Manager Career Mode tomorrow, actually. Take care, and I hope you guys are ready for another dramatic episode.